They are not going to believe what a crazy, wacky week this has been. Bah. And guess what? This is Jill for today. Hey, everybody. It's Jill for today. I thought you said that already. I did, but that's in the intro. Oh. See, there's an intro, and then there's a little music, and then we get into the video. When do we get into the <sighs> drinking? God, what a week. Mm. It's worse. It's worse. I even have a list this time. Okay. I'll tell you what. It's going to be some heavy drinking today. <laughs> okay. So, oh, a normal day. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm going to take one more step here. Mm. What are you drinking, my love? I'm drinking Basil Hayden. It's a uh, Kentucky sipping bourbon. It's a sipping bourbon, and I'm drinking red wine. This is Italian sipping. Yeah. Of course, I gulp, so. All right, so it's not necessarily in order, but some of these things, you just sit, get yourself a glass of wine or a glass of Coke or a cup of coffee or whatever. Um, so earlier in the week, this was like kind of the first thing. I keep forgetting we have the new microphone and I don't have to scream. The first thing that happened in the week is that it was evening and I was getting out something from the kitchen cabinet. And I opened the cabinet and it's on the second. What is going on out there? Oh, neighbors. I was getting something off of the second shelf up from the cabinet. No big deal, you know. Well, it's like a little stack of dishes and a bowl. Little, my little, I love my little dishes, right? My mm -hmm. little dishes. So I go to pull this thing down. It was like a waterfall of dishes and a bowl. And they're all glass or, or you know, pottery, porcelain, whatever you, you want to call them. How many did I break? And they, you know, how many? All of them, I think. It was a Tony-esque experience. It was. A my brother, Tony. Oh, you weren't going to do that. You weren't going to do that. My brother, Tony, who I love to the, you know, to the nths of being, Tony has a little problem with being a little on the clumsy side. So whenever I do something that, I beg your pardon? I didn't say anything. So whenever I am a little clumsy, he says, well, how do you really say it? You say, Tony. I didn't say it this morning. Oh, no, you didn't. But it's she like. She kept saying, go ahead. Go ahead, say go ahead, it. Say it. Go I ahead, say you. it. I dare you to say it. So I didn't say it. All these dishes came flying down out of the cabinet. They broke everywhere. A beautiful bowl I had gotten out in Astoria, which I loved, was broken. A couple of my plates my parents gave me. I was, anyway, that was a bummer. That just started off the week. Okay. So then I'm in the bathroom on Sunday, I guess. And you hear me coming, calling from the bathroom. What am I saying to you? Do you remember? Do How many guesses do I get? Right here, right here, right here. Oh, yeah. I'm saying... She had another Tony-esque experience. Did. She dropped an <laughs> earring down the sink. Diamond earring. Real diamonds. Oh, God. So the director had to get under the sink mm -hmm. and undo all the pipes mm -hmm. and clean them out and... But I'm you sure. were my hero. I found the. He found, found the and it was a little one. It wasn't like you know a massive thing. It was a little tiny post area. We don't have any big diamonds. Oh no, not in this house. Um, but yeah, you found it. It was a little tiny diamond stud, and I was just, I was like, scrap! Oh my God! Oh my God! He says, "What's the matter?" He figured I'd cut off my arm. Well, it was. I'll tell you what it was. It, when I had a one of my very first big jobs, like big jobs, I got my first paycheck and I had seen these earrings in a department store I really loved them and you know when we go to make a and you know a in a, a purchase I thought to, these were earrings your mother gave you no 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 those are the ones I wore the other day no these are the ones I bought for myself oh okay. this was something that I wanted I had seen them and I called them and I mean you know when you make an, uh, a purchase of this they weren't expensive you know but I I called them and I said you know I really would like these earrings I'd like to use my first paycheck to you know maybe pay it, it, part of my paycheck to, and he, he says my god go go girl so those were those earrings that was the first paycheck I got from the probation office where I worked 
And that's uh, a whole. Oh, no, that's a whole. That's a sharp. series right. of Jilper days. Anyway, so that was one of the earrings I lost. So they were sentimental in that capacity. Okay, we got that. Okay. So then we're cleaning house on Monday. Of course, we always clean house on Saturday, but no, we cleaned house on Monday. And he is in that bedroom just having an absolute cow over the vacuum cleaner. It's broken. Is that it? The handle. That all, the the handle's handle is broken. broken. You need to help. You need to help. Yeah, them. it's. It's a Dyson, I, and it has a trigger handle. Has a trigger that stops the blade or the brushes from turning. So uh, anyway, the handle itself broke, so you can't direct the vacuum cleaner. And uh, and I went out and I bought some expensive all plastic. Supposed to work on all plastics. Yeah, right. Uh, epoxy and I put on the base coat that oh, activates it yeah. and I put on the other thing Such and then man. I uh, clamped it for 24 hours <laughs> and I it. said clamp it is the word you know <laughs> Jed clamp it I said it was, oh my god uh, what if you glue the clamp to the to the he didn't anyway uh, so it it worked fine yeah. until I tried to use it and then it broke but it didn't just break it broke further so and it just made him I, I really, literally, I am in, you know, he heard me screaming about my earring going down the drain. I'm in the other room and I'm working and I hear this, uh, this litany of profanity. So I wrote Dyson. Yeah, it's a Dyson, I said, which we love. We love our Dyson. The part does not appear on your website. And furthermore, is this supposed to break? And they said, well, can you give me the model number? I gave him the model number. Of course, they said it's out of warranty, but they will gave me a link to the part. By about six months, it's out of warranty, not much. And said, we won't charge you shipping. Call one of our service people. Fine. So I called the service people who are right next door in India or Pakistan <laughs> and uh, explained the situation. And at the end of the conversation, she said, uh, very good. Uh, then I will send this to you as a uh, complimentary com complimentary service to you. Yeah. And I said okay. And I hung up and I looked at Jill for a day and I said, I don't think she understood me. Did, did I they get that? They were just. Right? I specifically <laughs> said they agreed to waive the shipping charge. Well, okay. uh, but you know, I think they may have said, you know, let's just, I mean, it's what's a $5 part and they charge you $40 or whatever 30, for it. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I mean. So anyway, they shipped it. We haven't received it yet, but no, they no, shipped no. it and apparently mm. they didn't charge us for it, so which that's is a, good. That's a good thing. Because so, it wasn't supposed to break <clears throat> in the first place. No, it wasn't. But, no. So that was a good thing. And then we had our snow days where everything was snowed in. You know, you get two inches here in Portland and like, you would think it was New York blizzard. I mean, it's no big deal, but the entire town shuts down. Nobody's moving. The buses are canceled. We went to the grocery store. We were just going to the grocery store. We needed a few things. OMG, it was like a bank rush. These people had their grocery carts piled up with food and water and bread and band-aids and I was like, what is going on? And we went to the counter and I said, what's going on here? Is this because of the snow? Oh yeah, these people are going insane. They were. I mean, they absolutely were. Did we tell them about the hockey game we weren't able to go no. to? No. We had uh, purchased tickets. We haven't been to a hockey game in years and years because oh everything's years. gotten so expensive. Terrible. So we spent $85 for mm. two hockey tickets mm. to go see a minor league hockey game. Yeah. Well, the forecast was for a, blizzard. a mega blizzard, yeah. you know, uh, including during the hours of the game. Yeah. So we didn't want a ch uh, chance no. going, you know, driving across the river and all the way downtown Portland and yeah. everything. So we just didn't go. Yeah. And the tickets, oh. of course, are non-refundable. So we lost our $85. So this week we get a uh, text from the, Out of the blue, I yeah, might add. from one of the ticket managers at the Portland Winterhawks. And he says, how'd you enjoy the game? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I wrote him back and told him what happened. And <clears throat> surprisingly, I got a, a response from him. It says, well, 
how how about if I gave you two of my tickets to an upcoming game? Now let me just time out here. You said to me, and I agreed. This has got to be some sort of a hoax. I didn't know. I yeah, thought. yeah, because it was kind of weird. So anyway, we went back and forth, and uh, and he texted me two tickets to the hockey game that's Can coming up this that? month. So Can you believe that? So we. Uh, we made out okay. I think we come out two dollars in the hole on the whole deal, but that's not bad. We're oh going to go word. see the last game of the <clears throat> season. So wow! I mean, that was like, and we, he actually went online to see who this guy was and if he really was yeah. attached to the team. The only disappointment was we were going to get to see when the original tickets yeah. were to see uh, them play a Canadian hockey team, which meant we'd get to listen to Oh, oh Canada, Canada, which we love, and now we're going to see him play the. Uh, uh, Seattle team, so no O Canada unless we sing it. All right, all right, all right, whatever. Um, so I, anyway, that was a happy ending. It was a happy ending. Uh, and the free Dyson Park, that free was Dyson. a happy ending. And well, that's the last of the good stuff. And then the Academy Awards came. Oh yeah, that's a snoozer. We didn't even watch them. I we didn't. We watched the pregame show, you know, the red carpet, and we saw some outfits. I swear to. God, I've never seen people How get these such people bad no taste. taste whatsoever. <clears throat> you know, we've always said that having money doesn't necessarily mean that you have taste. And most of the Hollywood, a lot of the Hollywood celebrities prove that at the Academy. Some Award. of those outfits were absolutely, well, they weren't even, they were beyond outrageous. That's they were right. like, are you kidding me? Who would Tommy, what's his name, Hilfiger? Hill, Hill, fight. Oh, Tommy Hilfiger. Hilfiger. Whatever big, it is. Big designer. He wore a suit. And you, if you watched the Academy Awards, you probably saw it. Each part of the, half his pants were a different plaid, and the jacket was half a plaid. So he had four different plaids going in this outfit. Then there was the woman with I like, the, I like the guy who had the suit on top and the flying nun outfit on the what bottom. What was that about? And the lady who was in the pink duck outfit. There were boa feathers everywhere, and it was pink. I, I, I don't know. The one, the one dress that I keep telling my niece Lee that I absolutely was bonkers over was the one that J Lo wore. It was like glass panes everywhere. It was, it was pretty amazing. I really did. And if I hear one more time, Lady Gaga and what's his name, Bradley, Bradley Cooper, sing that damn song, I'm gonna cut off my TV. I. I mean, what, okay, this song was nice, it won an Academy Award, but let's go on, people, let's move, let's move, let's move. Okay, we're moving. Dishes falling. Okay, and then came last night, the Homeowners Association meeting. Now, start with Marion. We were in the parking Mar lot, getting yeah. ready to leave. Marion is a very nice lady. Aww. She's on the Homeowners Association board. She's been terrific to us. Excellent. Uh, she lost her husband earlier this year. She was one of the people that we sent to take a, took a dinner to because her husband and the lady downstairs husband died the same day. So, just, so anyway, mm. Marion had mentioned that they have an opening at the board and uh, it turns out that the one fellow who was on the board just quit. He took his marbles and went home. That's because, what she said. Uh, you know, there's three members to the board. He didn't like that he was getting overruled. Wah, wah, wah. So he didn't want to play anymore. So <laughs> he was at the board meeting. Oh, my God. So so we went. We went to the board meeting. Oh, okay, but you got to... Okay. He, go ahead. Marion wants ahead. me to take the, the open position on the board, which yeah. I've agreed to do. If, yeah if the rest of the homeowners elect me, so. And this is not the uh, Homeowners Association of Boca Del Vista. It's a very tiny. Oh, we have 67 units yeah. here, and we're 66, and. Uh, 66, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so we went to this Homeowners Association meeting last night, and this jerk who said, I'm taking my ball and I'm going home, was there, and he comes in and he's got this binder full of stuff, and he has nothing to do but just bitch the whole meeting. He did, the whole meeting. He didn't like this, he didn't like that. He thought this was wrong. He's been crawling up in the attic spaces. Well, you're a homeowner, what are you doing up in our attic spaces, you know? After the meeting, I told the president of the homeowners board that he didn't need to get any more bids for work around the complex. No. He needed to get a bid on a hitman. Oh, 
God, the guy was insane. Yeah. <gasps> anyway, so that was, like I said, said so you're going to serve for two years on that homeowner's association. I don't know. Though. I have to be elected. If somebody Honey, else wants it. You're elected. Uh, let me tell you how how uh, desirable a position on our homeowners association oh, board yeah. is. The president and the treasurer, yeah. Rick and Marion, have been in their positions. It's a two-year term. They've been in their positions for eight years because nobody else. Wants nobody it. wants it. So anyway, so that that's kind of a bummer that you know you have some some, uh, and we have a beautiful complex. They take amazing care yeah. of it. We're financially solid. Oh, big time. Oh, reserve. very healthy reserve. And we've had to do some major work around here. Yeah. And we've never been assessed for it. There's never. There's been no special assessment. Yeah. Our, uh, our uh, homeowners association dues have gone up $70 a month in 16 years. Go, That's go find that good. one out there. Pretty yeah. Good. So we're, anyway, it's a so, perfect, it's the perfect storm. We love it. But that homeowners association. Okay. And this, this also was the week that we replaced every filter in the house yeah we have air purifiers we have refrigerator refrigerators we've got i don't know what but anyway we we uh invested a lot of money in house maintenance yeah. we're having all the thermostats in the house replaced because the people who built this house couldn't find cheaper thermostats to install so you're always freezing or you're boiling. He's bonding with the house after 16 years. He's bonding with the house. And at the homeowners association, guess what we found out? Oh, One of the yes. units has a radon problem. So now we have to pay to have radon testing due. But you know, I didn't realize this, but radon is, I guess, very common. And it's due to uranium in the I ground or something? I thought radon was the company clerk on MASH. I don't <laughs> know. Anyway, okay. um, so... The homeowners association will pay to remediate the radon if you have a problem, but you have to pay for the yeah. testing yourself, which is only one hundred and seventy-five dollars. After all, we're just made of money. Speaking which of money, which leads us to today. Now we have had, some, you know, you know, nothing like major, but it's getting, you know. So we said, let's get somebody in here just to kind of spray and get things kind of cleaned up. Spring is coming, so we called. Do I use the name of the company? I, no, I don't, no, oh, we'll skip the name. But we called a, one of the three largest companies yeah. uh, that do this in America. Right. And to just give you a little background, we're right on the edge. Uh, we have a green belt right outside yeah. our door. Yeah. So we have lots of trees and shrubbery um, that's owned by the water district. Yeah. So nothing's going to happen there. And uh, we also, uh, the Homeowners Association pays to have our windows washed and screens cleaned every year. Yeah. And unfortunately, when the window washers come through, they take Roar. off the screens, they put them down on the ground, they wash them up. They walk on them. <laughs> they, <laughs> they walk on them. Uh, some guy comes through and sees it. Play water, the accordion water. with them. But anyway, they don't always get the right screen back on the right window. Yeah. And as a result of that, they aren't totally tight yeah. around the edges, yeah. which combined with the green belt makes a perfect opportunity for little flying things or crawling things to come in. So we decided, okay, well, let's start off spring right. We're going to get somebody in here. We're going to spray and get everything kind of bugs are us. tidied mm -hmm. up. Yeah, uh, bugs. Well, yeah, we'll go with bugs are us. So the guy comes today. Uh, first of all, I call and I say, this is what we, you know, what we want to do. And he says, okay, here's the plan. He gives me the initial uh, cost of the first visit. And then for six months, they'll come back every other month. And they'll, you know, spray, touch up. Not for free. But. Well, no, no, not for free. They'll touch up, you know, kind of uh, follow up and that kind of thing. And they, it's, am I right? Yes. Okay. And it's, it's so much a month, uh, so much per visit every other month. Fine, it's good. So we say, okay, let's it go. Would have been. It, let's go for it. So the guy comes today. Super nice guy. Very nice. Very, very knowledgeable. knowledgeable. Oh my Young. god, he can tell you anything about anything. Young. Okay. So he goes. Bug, bug oh. related, anyway. I'm sorry. You said he could tell you anything about anything. I said bug related. Bug related. Yeah. So he comes through and he does, you know, his little thing, you know, and all that stuff, and he goes up to the attic and checks up there for, you know, spider webs or nests or any of that kind of stuff. 
So he comes down, and we're kind of getting settled in, and he gives us the bill. Well, the bill isn't quite exactly what we thought it was going to be. It wasn't actually per bi-monthly treatment. No. It was per month. Month. So that turned out to be twice the cost that it was explained to, to Jill for yeah. a day. It's, he said, every, you know, your treatment's every other month. But what he didn't say was that, but you're getting charged every month. But they're month. going to withdraw or... or Cre uh, charge your credit yeah. card well, there's every my month telephone, and I'd be just going to let it ring. Half, uh, half the drink. right, right. That's going to ring for five minutes. It'll take a few minutes. Okay, what is it? it's my telephone. Who is it? I don't know. It's nobody oh. I know from the mm -hmm. ring. No. Okay, so that was the uh, people from the in, in exterminator company. Yeah, that called, and they bug were, boys. Bug oh. boys. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so here's what happened. The, the young man came in today, super nice, very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. And he said, okay, here's what we're going to do. It's you kind know. of scary that people know that much about bugs. I said, I don't know how you do your, I don't know how you go home and sleep at night, how you deal with all this. Because he was telling me, I deal with rats, I deal with, oh, yeah. So, he, so. he goes through, <laughs> he does his job. God, tell him. Oh, because it's just unbelievable. Anyway, he treats the house. Uh, he Sprays explains everything. Yeah, he goes out. He does the outside of the place. He's very thorough, very good. Uh, and he he needed to get up into our attic, so he yeah. brought his ladder up and set the ladder up. And of course, they're doing some other work in the attic with mold <laughs> remediation and that kind of thing. So the the odor nearly killed him yeah, it was because very they're strong. using some sort of strong bleach, kind of thing. Bleaching yeah, bleaching kind of thing. Yeah. So anyway, he couldn't really get up there, but he saw enough to see it was clean. So he comes down, he takes his ladder down, he's ready to leave, and he uh, we work out the money and uh, which was an issue the way yeah. that, that was worded to us. But well, uh, the, I'll yeah, I'll jump right Anyway. Um, so he leaves and I'm coming back up, I go down and lock the door, I'm coming back up the stairs and here's something on the stairs. <laughs> and I look at it and I pick it up and put it in my hand and Aww. not know what it is and so I throw it away and actually I went back downstairs and threw it out on the outside. And then uh, coming back up the stairs, I see another one. So I pick it up and I take it back out. Uh, oh, you the, brought it up to me. Oh, oh there was Oh, yeah, I, I did. I brought it up to her. I said, does this look like a bug to you? And she says, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look good. So uh, he hadn't left. He was sitting out in his truck. So I knocked on the door and I said, is this a bug? And he says, oh, yeah. I, where'd you find it? I said, I found it on the stairs. It was the second one I found up there. So he comes back in and checks the stairs. We got a big ick factor coming up. Checks the stairs and... I'm <laughs> just itching already. Then he finds a small uh, pile of leaves. Uh, that was here by the sliding glass. Oh, no, I found the pile. Oh, I'm sorry. I found the pile. He says, he I didn't want to hear all that he told us what it was. Yes, it was a maggot. And they were stuck in his ladder from a prior visit. So I go over to our sliding glass drawer, and there is a pile of maggots at my... So it was a BYOB party. Bring your own bugs. <laughs> God, you don't think you needed bugs, but you've got bugs. So anyway, he apologized oh, all over the place, cleaned up, got down his hands and knees and went up and down the stairs to make sure they were all gone. And, and after he did that, you found another one, right? And, yeah. yeah. And he came back and got rid of that one. And uh, so we're fairly sure we're maggot free now. Oh. And they were dead. They were they dead. Were dead. That was the only good part dead. about it. But Jill Verde started swooning and drinking and having oh, nightmares my even God. though she was awake. I was then, like shaking. It was so yeah, upsetting was me. It was pretty horrible. Pretty horrible. So anyway, <laughs> at least he didn't find any Komodo dragons in our closet. And, uh, <laughs> oh, my so that was, God. That was not good. That was kind of like the end of our week. Not good. It, it was horrible. Yeah. It was really horrible. And then there was a misunderstanding with the cash they come back they come back in a week 
you know, as a complimentary follow-up to make sure everything looks good. And then after that, they come back every two months, and which you charge for. Yeah. And uh, it was kind of not explained well to Jill for a day. Mm-hmm. She thought that they were the amount. I took good notes. And I don't, she it wasn't my notes, fault. Right. And they explained the amount was going to be this much per visit. Yeah. And what we found out is that much per month. So you pay each month. It's like double. Yeah. Doubled. So anyway. Yeah. So it, we got that all worked out. We did Jill they called and said, uh, I, don't "I don't think know. so. I don't think so." So anyway, they uh, they did make accommodations. That's for what us. the phone call was. Yeah, very good. And uh, so, uh, but you know, I'll tell you, this has been one heck of a week. It has really. Yeah. It's been like uh, torrent. I mean, you got the highs of the free to- uh, hockey tickets, then you got the lows of maggots sitting at your sliding glass door. I mean, it just you full the red. And then oh no, and what then now? Because the representative from Bug Boy was <laughs> such a fascinating speaker. <laughs> he told us about bed bugs. Oh, bed bugs. And oh, old I people. Won't, oh. I won't recount the story to you, but let me just say. Don't ever stay in a hotel again that costs under three hundred dollars a night because you'll regret it. So what he told us about bed bugs, I swear oh, yeah. to God, I cannot believe it. We always thought bed bugs were little, and actually they can get to be the size of a ladybug. A ladybug. But the good news is they they don't carry disease. So luckily, oh, it was gross. What he was yeah. telling us about bed bugs, I was like. <gasps> Anyway, took we, my we won't away. be doing a lot of traveling, traveling. in the near no future. Traveling. No traveling. A lot of day trips, but not overnight. No, it was horrible. I mean, it bugs are my thing. They are my thing. And after you get somebody who is very knowledgeable about bugs, and he spills his guts about bugs, and then spills his uh, maggots on your floor, you know, I'm going to have nightmares over this. It's been like... Uh, well, you have. You have I want to go out and buy a pair of clogs so I can do the do you maggots. Have more, do you have more wine in there? <laughs> There's always always more, more wine. wine. All right, I think that I've gotten through our list, which I believe they all say, "God, let's get over this now." Yeah. Will you say goodbye? Anyway, we didn't promise that our life was going to be exciting and funny and fun. Oh, so crazy! It's not been a good week, all in all. Not a good week, but except you know what? we're we're alive. We're together. Yep, you just said it all. We yeah. are happy campers. But you know what? This is what life is. And we love, people like to hear what our lives are, even though it's like, yikes, really? They can really? go home now and say, gee, I don't have it so bad. You should have heard what happened to them today. All right, are we done? Yep, I'm I know done. they hate to hear me say that. All right, first of all, I'm going to, like, I always start at the back. I always start at the front and move back. I'm going to start at the back and move forward. There's a little button down there that says subscribe. If you hit that button, you'll subscribe and there's a little bell next to that button and if you hit that little bell each time i upload a video guess what guess what 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 are you doing i'm playing i'm fading this out i see that i see that give this man give man a toy right anyway if you hit that little bell then each time i upload a video you're going to be the first one to know okay thanks a lot for watching tell your friends subscribe this is like total insanity they may like it i don't know um we have a little amazon affiliate store which means if you go in there use my link go in there do shopping buy tires buy cars buy sofas i don't care what you buy we get a little tiny something for it which helps us get new lighting a new microphone uh, Basil Hayden. Basil Hayden. And we appreciate that. Thank you so much. And is there anything else? No, we hope you have a great weekend. Oh, have a great weekend, people. We love you. Do we love them? Absolutely. We love you. And we'll see you next week, I guess. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.